Hey everybody, good evening, happy Friday. How are you? How's everybody doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Guadalupe, I'm super glad to see you. Uh, I see Norberto there, Carlos. Hi, guys. Jackie, hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Moses, Jocelyn Ignacio. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? How is your day going? Everything good? Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Carlos. Glad to see you. Okay. So, well, TGIF, I just hope you're having a nice Friday. And if you're not, well, ya vamos a tener el fin de semana. So, we are about to have the weekend, right? Saturday, Sunday for you to relax to be at home a little bit, and you know, that's just amazing. Um, how was your Friday? A lot of traffic, not much traffic, not much work. What can you tell me about your Friday? A lot of work. Wow, okay, so you had a lot of work. But, uh, oh, you are working tomorrow, right, Carlos? Yes, I work Saturday. You work on mm. Saturdays. Okay, I see. Wow. I see. Norbert, what about your day? How was your day? Um, very good, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> me, yeah, me, quedé, I me quedé esperando, obviously. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, tell, yeah, tell yeah. me. Se me olvidó ahorita. Se le fue el avión. Okay. Okay, no worries, but, but I, I am glad you're having a good day. Y espero que todos tengan un muy buen día. I just hope everybody's having a really Thank good day. Um, a good Friday. Terminamos la semana uno, so week number one is done, is finishing. And that is just amazing, you know, for everybody. Me alegra verlos acá. I'm super glad to see everybody's here, um, that you continue like practicing English, eh, que estamos like ready to finish this module. Guys, yo sé que es un poquito difícil, eh, especialmente hasta ahora, pero les agradezco enormemente all your effort. And uh, terminando la plataforma with the exercises que tenemos hasta el día de ahora too. So, gracias que ya me mandaron confirmación. Vi algunos también que ya me avanzaron con la sección número dos. Así que thanks a lot for that. Gracias por el compromiso, la responsabilidad. Si todavía tienen ejercicios pendientes, eh, no worries. Todavía estamos a tiempo. Please complete them. Uh, que no, no se vayan a dormir ahora sin completarlos, por favor. No les va a tomar mucho tiempo. They won't take you long. And... Uh, and they will help us a lot, you know. You will be helping us a lot with that. Um, to get started, voy a pasar asistencia, como siempre lo hacemos. Si me ayudan con su camarita, please. Okay, so allow me just a moment. Hi, Ignacio. Hi, Richard. Oh, Richard. Creo que va camino a casa, right? I think you're going home. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Thank you, oh. Richard. So okay, thank you for okay. joining. Me okay. imagino que va... Hey, Wait, Jocelyn, oh. Jocelyn, where are you? Yes. Uh, at work, uh, uh, in Canada, uh, maybe. Yes. In my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love uh, your background. Me gusta mucho lo que he puesto de fondo. I really <laughs> like what you have as a background. So it, it's very, um, very relaxing, like very fresh. So that sounds great. It looks great. Okay. Thank okay, you. guys. So help me please with your uh, confirmation. Que estamos por acá. Ana Delmi, no sé si ya entró. No he visto a Anita todavía. 
uh, Brenda, Brian, Carlos, Carlos was Present. there. Present. Thank you. Uh, Present. Brian? Present. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, uh, Danny, por ahí vi a Danny conectándose too. Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Gracias, Miss. Y Natalie. Jacqueline. Present, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Thank you very much. Un televisor, mi papá me lo dio. Oh, Jocelyn. Present. Thank you. I have an oh, yeah. Ignacio. Ignacio está por ahí. But... Present, present. There you go. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Attendance. I like it. Uh, Norbert. Here, present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Bonilla. Present, I'll be here, teacher. Hey, there you go, thank you. Marvin Lopez. Okay, not yet. Clary, no sé si Clary está con nosotros. Okay. Hello, miss, hey, I'm here. Hey, there you How go. How are you doing? I'm just doing fine, and I'm happy to listen to you. Ya, ya escucho su voz, you know, more normal. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Uh, are you feeling better? Just a little better? Are you a little better? Yes. Pretty Amazing. better. Yes. Oh, uh, I really like to listen to that. So thanks a lot. Gracias por conectarse, Miss, and for being with us. Um, my next person is Moses. Por ahí Moses también. Thank you, Pedrina. No. Oh. Pedrina, Pedrina. Oh, Pedrina is not here. Okay. Okay, Rene. Present, present. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. How you doing, Rene? Ya en casa? Are you resting? No, yet. Are you working? Yes. Wow, thanks a lot. Gracias por conectarse and for being with us. Um, Richard, well, Richard creo que iba en camino, but- Hello, yeah, hello. Thank hello. you. Thanks I a lot. Here. Please okay. be careful. Be careful if you're driving. <laughs> just, Relax. Just be careful. I get super nervous when I see people driving, you know. Espero que llegue con bien a su casa. No, oh. no. Tranqui, tranqui. Okay. Uh, Mabel. Todo relax. <laughs> okay. And uh, thank you so much. And I'm missing Ingrid. Uh, Ingrid, creo que todavía no, se, no ha entrado. Okay. There we go. The we go. Okay, guys, very good. So let me present my screen one more time here and let's go ahead and check part of the topics that we will be doing and we will be working today. First, um, every day, intentamos ver vocabulario nuevo, new words, new things. So tell me, guys, ¿qué recuerdan de ayer? What words do you remember that we started yesterday? Sin ver el cuadernito, ¿qué palabras se pueden recordar de esa semana? Manufacturing. Amazing manufacturing. ¿Qué más? What is? Machine. Yes, machine. Okay. Assemble. Advice. Exactly. Assemble advice. Yesterday yes. was advice and recommendation. Yes. Advices. Mm -hmm. Okay, advices. Very good. So advices, yes. recommendations, machine, assemble. ¿Qué más vimos? What else uh, do you remember? Good, good. It's good. A factory. Factory. Okay. Creo que escuché a alguien más, but I couldn't identify. Yes. Illness teacher. Illness. Yes, exactly. Yesterday vimos la palabrita illness de enfermedades. Okay. ¿Qué más recuerdan? What do you Amount. remember? Amount. We said yesterday it was quantity. Very good. Good, good, good. Apply. Just apply, apply. Jocelyn, what was the word? Oh. I'm sorry. No, lo que pasa es que escucho como un ruido de fondo and, and I couldn't identify the word. Uh, 
o, o yo creo que está muy lejos. <ríe> o, o, but there is something, que hay como un poquito de eco. Ajá. Yo creo que sí está, está muy... Es que, you know, le escucho como, como si estuviera súper lejos. Like when you are very, very far away from something. Pero no sé si solo soy yo. Guys, eh, can you identify? Sí. Hola. A little bit better now. Sí. Que no tengo audífono hoy. Ni modo, Oh, probably that's why. Pero está con el teléfono? Are you with your phone? Mi, mi tablet. Quizás por eso. No, pero ahora ya la escucho mejor. So I listen to you better. Creo que sí, era eso, el espacio. I think that, that was the one. Ok, no, but, but you're better now. Sí, se escucha mucho mejor now. Ok, so yes, yesterday we checked like a lot of vocabulary. And today, Brian? No, 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 perdón. Oh, ok, no worries. So today we are going to like check some more vocabulary. So take a look at the following. So I need your help, ok, with all of these words. Because maybe they are new, maybe they are not new, so I need just your help with them, okay? Um, for example, the one that is on top says stock. Any idea? Inventario. ¿Alguien la vis? Mm. Existencia. Sí. Exactly, exactly. A stock is like all the products that we have que están como guardaditos, right? Everything that you have there. Mm -hmm. So it's the product. What about inventory? Inventory, Carlos nos dijo, inventario. Exactly. So that is the inventory. Voy a mover, no sé si logran ver eso. I'm going to move it just in case you don't have visibility. So the first is a stock. Yeah, the products available. Inventory. The other one is merchandise. Mercadería. Uh -huh, exactly. All the products that you can sell. The other one is weight. Any idea what weight is? Peso. Peso. Exactly, weight. Like nuestro peso, when we have to weight ourselves. Uh, the other one is recipe. You have to make a video with like a recipe. Last time nos dieron recipes. So recipe is like la receta de cocina, right? Una receta, pero no médica. So we are talking about food. So that is a recipe. So no medica, remember, not a recipe for the doctor. This is food. The other word we have is roasted, like for food. Uh, we have- uh, Chicken roasted. Like, yeah, exactly. Also we have pepper, right? Like what you put oh, on the food. Is... I don't like pepper. Pepper, yes. pepper is pimienta. Mm -hmm. pimienta. Como el, puede ser cualquier tipo de, de chile, you know, what we call chile. So like uh, green pepper, spicy pepper, chili pepper, yeah, so it's pepper. Los pimentones, chiles, etc. They are pepper. Also, um, la pimienta, so it's called pepper as well. The other word that we have is very nice and it's crunchy. So crunchy is for food, like the cookies, right? When you eat crujiente, ajá, exactly. Ya, aquí está como el empanizado también, no crunchy, a menos que esté casi, you know, <laughs> refrito, <laughs> ajá, yeah, because crunchy es ese sonido de, ajá. you know, por ejemplo, de, de pollo campero, mm, yes. is it crunchy? Hay, hay, hay uno que se dice como de crispy. Uh, what is it? Uh, hay un pollo que se llama así. Is there a chicken that is called this way? Yes. Like crunch chicken. Okay. No, I mean, I, I don't know too much. To be honest with you, no sé mucho de, de like eating out or, or things like those. So I don't know. You tell me. Uh, chicken, chicken, uh, tradicional, uh, chicken culture. Oh, they, oh, so they have different types. Okay, okay. Yes, so, asado, asado también. Roasted, so they have roasted. Okay. Yes, uh, 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 okay, so we have roasted. 
we have crunchy, pero crunchy es eso, you know, el sonido. Not only for chicken, sino cualquier comida that is like, for What example, is it? carrots. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, but are we okay with crunchy? Do we understand the, the meaning of crunchy? ¿Estamos bien con eso? Are we good? Yes. Yeah. Okay, amazing, amazing. So, the other one that we have is spicy. When you eat jalapeño, when you eat pepper, what is the flavor? Exactly. So when you eat Mexican food, not most of Mexican food is a spicy. So you have a spicy pepper. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you like a spicy food? It's picante. Yes. Do you like a spicy food? Like Mexican food or some peppers? A spicy pepper? Do you like them? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. So those are the ones. Guys, vamos a pronunciarlos. Let's go ahead and pronounce these words, okay? Um, so we can get the right pronunciation for later practice. So number one is stuck. Let's practice, let's repeat it, please. Stuck. 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 Inventory. 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 Merchandise. 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 Wait. 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 Recipe. 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 Ro roasted. 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 Pepper. 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 Crunchy. 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 Spicy. 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 Exactly. Exactly. So now, now that we have these words, I want you to, number one, vamos a seleccionar las palabras nuevas. I want you to select the words that are new for you. For example, si nunca habían escuchado la palabra wait, and this is the first time que sabemos que wait es peso, vamos a escribir una pregunta. Not a sentence, but a question. Puede ser algo como... ¿Cuánto pesas? How much do you wait? Okay. Or how much, I don't know. ¿Cuánto pesa algo? So how much does your baby wait? Okay. Um, if we have never heard the word spicy, le podemos hacer la pregunta like, do you like spicy food? Do you like Mexican spicy food? If we have, for example, the word inventory, si nunca habíamos visto la palabra inventory before, vamos a hacer la pregunta. So, no sentences today, vamos a hacer preguntas. We're going to make questions con las palabras nuevas, right? With the words that are in new, totalmente nuevas para ustedes. So, I'll give you five minutes para que lo podemos escribir. You can write it down para que sea más fácil. So, it can be easier. Five minutes. Si tienen dudas cómo utilizar las palabras, let me know and we can go over them or I can give you more examples. Roasted es como chicken roasted. Yes, exactly. Roasted es el tipo de comida. Mm -hmm. Roasted, como rostizado, ¿verdad? Roasted. Como rostizado, exactly. Roasted food. ¿Y pepper? Pepper is like green pepper, spicy pepper, pimienta. So pepper puede ser el, el chile en sí, de pepper. Or pepper también puede ser la pimienta, como el polvito that we, that we add to the food. Ok, ok. Teacher, what is the difference in, in uh, roasted and in, in, in grill? Oh, it's the type because grill is como cuando tiene una barbecue and you grilled it and roasted, no. Roasted most of the times is como cuando lo, lo mete en like in a hook y le va dando vueltecitas como puro vapor, you know? But in grilled, uh, 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 uh,
Es like and the, la parrilla. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Le quedan hasta las marquitas de la parrilla. ¿Mm? Ah, qué rico, está bien. Bueno. Oh, food. <risa> Dime. Es, es hora de cena, por eso. I know. But today is Friday, so it's, it sounds like pupusa Friday. <risa> sí. Stock es... Es... Uh, um, Extensis, sí, ¿verdad? Sometimes in Spanish podemos como utilizarlo de la misma forma, but they are different. Stock es como lo que usted tiene disponible, lo que tiene en existencia. En inventory es el control total. Inventario, sí. <coughs> ok. Teacher, eh, jalapeño en in inglés. You can say spice. Okay, si es el, el, el chile, you can call it yes. bien genéricamente spicy pepper. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Es un hot. Es un hot pepper, como de caliente. You can use the word hot. Okay, thank you. Uh, hot pepper. I'm going to write it down. Ya pueden ponerse la vacuna contra el COVID de 18 años para arriba, señores. Ya me lo voy a poner yo. Bien rápido, ¿verdad? Ahí me dicen cuando les toque los de 15, que digo yo. <risa> Buérale. Buérale. Los infantiles. Sí, sí. Sí. <risa> I think I'm ready for my vaccine. I'm 18 already. <risa> So I'll ah, go ahead and get it. Okay. You're, you're included. Teacher. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, Necesitan más tiempo? Do you need more time? More minutes? One, one, one minute. Okay. okay. One minute. No worries. No problem. It's okay. Only one.
I have a headache, guys. What is your recommendation? Yesterday you gave us like some recommendations about illness, symptoms, health problems. What is your recommendation for a headache? You, sh you should take a pill. Like acetaminophen? Yes. I think I should. I think it was because of food, but I ate. <laughs> I had dinner. Um, mm -mm. Oh, okay. Carlos has started writing some. <laughs> I need to buy four dozens of sure. Do you have sufficient stock? Uh, Carlos, just a question. When you say a dozen of shorts, se refiere como de, de shorts, de los que usamos, shorts. Sure. O se refiere a algo más, Carlos. Oh, a eso, a, a los, a los shorts para ir a la cancha, digamos así, para ir a jugar fútbol, shorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good example. Eh, podemos usar también la palabra in stock. Like, for example, do you have eh, enough in stock? So, okay. pero sí, it's super bien. I like it. That's a very good example. Okay, guys, so help me out. What do you have? What do you have for this one? Teacher, do you have to receive to cook pupusas? Do you have to receive? The re ah, the recipe. Recipe. The recipe to make pupusas. No. Oh, yes. I have Oloquiltas recipe. <laughs> My mother is from Oloquilta. Oh. Yeah. She makes very good pupusas. But I am a total deception. <laughs> I cannot make pupusas very well. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, that's a good example. Recipe. Okay. What do you have, guys? Questions. Help me with your questions. Uh, me teacher, uh, the hot paper is very uh, spicy. Okay, so hot paper is very spicy. Okay, spicy, spicy. spicy. Very okay. good okay. example. Yes, uh, like all of these. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Norberto, go uh, ahead. I need their recipe to make a pizza oh me too who makes who can make a pizza alguien dijo que podía hacer pizzas rene i think no 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 <laughs> okay. i i had the feeling that rene could make pizzas i don't know why rene Guys? teacher rene only can eat pizza no, but someone yes, said is better. that Rene is a good cook, that he's a good chef. So I don't know. Guys, who can make pizza from this group? Mabel, Marvin, can you cook? Can you make pizza? Um, I like Mabel. tacos, uh, so little pepper. With little pepper, okay. What about like pizza? Does anybody have a recipe? Easy, super easy recipe for pizza? I like pizza, pero little, no, no me gusta mucho. But you don't like it much. What about cooking pizza? No, <laughs> what about making the pizza? Can anybody make pizza? Jocelyn, oh. Jackie, Sandra, girls, can you make pizza? Moses? No, a pizza. Carlos teacher, or prepare. I'm sorry. The recipe. Ah, the recipe for pizza, like from zero. Uh, 
No. Okay. <laughs> Only. Uh -huh. Solo, solo palmearlas y tirarlas, pero no, no tengo la receta así. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, the recipe for, yeah, because I can buy one in this, in the supermarket, but, <laughs> and put it in the microwave, uh -huh, but, but. I like, I like uh, uh, meat lovers, for example. Okay, yeah, but for pizza, nobody has a recipe. What a bad thing. Okay. okay, unfortunately, no. Okay, guys, preguntas. ¿Quién más tiene preguntas? Who made questions with the words, with the new vocabulary? Teacher, I want, teacher, I want to participate. Sure, tell me. Use, using the word wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, I recommend it. That you, you, that you don't, no, you, you not mm -hmm. ask a girl mm -hmm. for the weight. How much <laughs> she weigh? <laughs> I agree. A hundred percent, I agree. Okay, you shouldn't ask a girl. Okay. Um, wait, 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 and age. Wait and age. Okay. I see Carlos has a question uh, in the chat, and he's like. Do you like spicy pupusas? Very good question. Guys, who likes spicy pupusas? And Jocelyn also has another question. Do you like to eat food with like spicy food? Guys, do you like to eat spicy food? Spicy pupusas? Is that okay for you? Nobody? Yes. Spicy yes, remember like. is picante, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Guadalupe does, Ignacio does. Okay, anybody mm -hmm. else? Hay alguien, is there anybody who doesn't like spicy food? Hay alguien que no le guste, spicy things? In my case, I don't like spicy food. Oh. Because it's, because it's when I eat uh, it's spicy, for example, mm -hmm. uh, tacos and another food, Mexican uh -huh. food, I feel bad my stomach. Ooh, very hey. good point, hey. exactly. My, my, una, a little opinion. Go, go, when go the, when, when the, some person like uh, pupusa jalapeño, uh -huh. eh, some people, eh, Start the cry, the cry because the it is too strong. Jalapeño, the jalapeño oh. is strong because and, the flavor is strong. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but Rene has a point. So when you eat a spicy food, your stomach hurts. So oh. maybe you get gastritis, colitis, uh, constipation, like illnesses, right? Different illnesses. Okay, thank you, Rene, for sharing that. All right, any other word, any other uh, question that you included in your examples or in sentences, whatever you made? Alitas, ¿cómo se dice? Wings, like buffalo wings. <laughs> yes, every Tuesday, like wing, eat wing, buffalo wings. Oh, every Tuesday you eat buffalo wings, okay. Marvin visit that play because is the the beer is is most most cheaper. <laughs> cheaper. So yeah. Tuesday it is cheaper. No, Marvin, shame on you. <laughs> no, just Me kidding. Just kidding. But Marvin can you cook. I love cook. Jocelyn. Uh, I think you're mute, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, you're mute. I see your lips moving, but you're mute. There okay. you go. Okay. Okay. Do you do you can prepare roasted meat? Roasted can, meat. Okay. Can you prepare roasted meat? Okay. Meat. 
is correct the question yes the question is okay but to be honest with you i don't think i have cooked roasted meat i don't like meat well it's not that i don't like it's that i cannot eat <laughs> okay sure. well that's enough for me Carlos. i i have a co-worker mm -hmm. that uh, he didn't eat a spicy food because the hot food or, or spicy food cause allergy. Oh, and wow. when I eat uh, some spicy food, uh -huh. he have problems to respirate. Like, like problems with breathing? He cannot breathe? Yes. So, um, yes. les voy a escribir esta palabrita, breathe, that is respirar. Wow, 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 okay, breathe. Wow, he has problems to breathe, but that is very strange. I have to know, but yes. yeah, right. Some people are allergic to to nuts, to peanuts, como los maní. Some people are al allergic to almonds. Uh huh. Very interesting and very difficult. Imagine que le ponga yes. un poquito sin saber, and the person is allergic to that. Wow. Yes. Okay. The last time uh, I put very pepper in the Pizza. <laughs> like a little? No, a, a lot, a lot of pepper. And you didn't know. Pizza. And he don't eat. <laughs> no. Okay, pero yes. eso suena intencional. <laughs> no. So that sounds like, no. Carlos was like, I don't want a, you to eat. Así okay. me di cuenta que no podía comer picante porque él uh -huh. me contó. Wow, okay. But, exactly, but we don't know. And, and but it's very like like a very sensitive topic. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and continue. Vamos a revisar el vocabulario later. No worries. I need two volunteers. So thank you very much, Guadalupe. You will be my first volunteer. So uh, can you help me with John, please? And Hi. I need another person. Ta -da -da -da. Moses, thank you very much. You are going to be Ben. So help me read Ben, please. So Guadalupe, if you are ready. Not yet. Okay, no worries. Take your time. Teacher. Yes, Richard. Oh, okay. Are you home already? Did you get home? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Ready. Okay, great, great. I'm so happy that you're home already. Okay, perfect. Please, so no worries, Guadalupe. Uh, you can help me later on. Ricardo, you can go ahead with John. Uh, we were uh, very nice yesterday. We have a lot of customers. We did, I think we need to stock our inventory. Mm -hmm. Yes, we don't have a new uh, ah. quality, quantity of cho chocolate uh, caramel. Mm -hmm. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right, no, it. Uh, three, four is year, and um, they cost is uh, uh, 20 per unit. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you very much. Yes, okay, guys, welcome. we can learn a lot of words from here. And I want to get started with the amount because they said $30 per unit. Cuando hablamos de cantidades, vamos a utilizar la palabra per, right? So $30, esto vale $30 por, no sé, por paquete, por ejemplo. So this is $30 per package. O $30 por unidad. $30 per unit. O $30 al año. $30 per month. O cuando pagan una suscripción, and it's like, oh, vale $30 al año. ¿Cómo lo dirían? This is $30 Per year. Exactly. So, usamos per day, per week, per month, per year. Cuando hablemos de frecuencia, we are going to use the word per. Cuando hablemos de contenedores, también vamos a hablar per. 
per unit, per box, per package, etc. Just FYI, you know, para que we are familiar with that. We have the word stock, we have the word inventory, y tenemos una nueva. Inventory turnover. What was the inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? And the person says, right now, it's three for this year. ¿A qué nos referimos con inventory turnover? ¿Qué se les viene a la mente? Retornado sería. Mm, pero, la, la, mm. ¿dos palabras juntitas? Inventory turnover. Estación de inventario. Uh -huh. In other words, es como la renovación in this case, right? Because we have. Uh -huh. Because, for example, um, I think that you have seen las empresas de ropa. Normally, si ya se terminó una temporada, cambian, right? Y cambian. So, no es que la vendan toda. Probably they just change it. So that is the turnover. Inventory turnover. Puede ser la ejemplo, Por ejemplo, dress. Dress um, ver de invierno, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So you have winter clothing. Uh, you have summer clothing. Um, it, it's very common, for example, que ya para uh, August, que ya se vienen las vacaciones, Ya van a ver trajes de baño, you know, like some trunks, because ya lo cambiaron. No es que lo vendieran todo, oh, right? Oh. Christmas clothes. In Christmas, you go to Dollar City, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, you see a lot of Santa Claus. ¿Qué más ven? What do you see? The tree, decoration, exactly. Like in October, <laughs> you start seeing that, right? So that oh. is the turnover. Sometimes it's porque ya se terminó, but sometimes it's because of the season. So the person says, what was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? Richard, and the person I want says, a question. Yes, tell me. Stock, stock or inventory is como lo que tengo, verdad, en el inventario. Um, stock is como lo que está disponible, el producto disponible. Let's say that way. I'm sorry. And inventory is todo, everything. So, el stock is como más específico. For example, I want, to pair of, I want a pair of shoes and I go to a store y pregunto si lo tienen disponible. Because that is the stock, lo que ellos tienen. And inventory is todo, everything, yeah? So, everything they have. But yes, in, the thing is that in Spanish, lo ocupamos igual. We use both words very, very similar. Guys, For example, but, the, the car store, verdad? Stock mm -hmm. is uh, the, the car eh, que están como a la vista. Mm -hmm. O lo que tienen en esa sucursal también. The ones that they have in that specific branch or in that specific store. So that is the stock, right? Lo que está ready for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's practice this vocabulary then and I need your help. We have these words. Okay, vamos a usar lo que está acá. In this conversation, we are going to use all the words that you see here to complete the exercise on number two. Match the definitions with the words below. ¿Cuáles son algunas de las palabras that we can use? We can use stock, we can use inventory, quantity, inventory turnover, we can use cost, right? To complete this little list. So, les voy a dar tres minutitos. I'll give you three minutes para completar esto. Number one, for example, says a particular amount of something. Yesterday veíamos la palabra amount. Les decía, oh, esto también es lo mismo. What was the word? Cantidad. Uh -huh. And in English, esa es. It's in the conversation. It is in the conversation. Quantity. Quantity. Very good. So number one is quantity. Y las demás, what about the rest? So cinco minutitos. I'll give you three, four, five minutes to okay. complete it.
One more minute.
Okay, everybody, so help me with your answers, please. Number one, we said quantity, a particular amount of anything. Number two, a complete listing of merchandise or a stock on hand. What is number two? Inventory. Inventory, very good. Number three, the price paid to get something? Cost. Cost, very good. Number four, the number of times a company sells its inventory a year? The stock. Inventory turnover. The inventory the turnover. Exactly, the inventory turnover. So not, not only sale, puede ser solamente mover, right? So the time they have to um, change the inventory. Number five, to get more products in the inventory, Comienza con S. It starts with letter S. Stock. Stock. Stock, Stock is to get more, more products in the inventory. Okay. So, podemos usar stock como verbo. Eh, esa es la, la forma como acá se utiliza. So, this is why it's to get more products in inventory. Okay, guys. This conversation, if you paid like a little attention, is en pasado. So, let's go ahead and take this. Simple past review. Oh, okay. So, so, so. I miss the people suddenly. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Simple past tense review. What is the past? Recordemos un poquito cuáles eran los pasados, guys. So begin. Who has begin? Anita, hello. I'm glad you can join us. Hello, teacher. So, hello, miss. So tell us, guys. Begin. ¿Qué tiene el pasado de begin? Began. 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 Perfect. Break. Alex, uh, do you have break? Ya escuché bro por ahí. Perfect. That's break. okay. Bring. Break. Break. Bro, Just... algo así creo que era. Bro. No. Exactly. Exactly. Bro. Sí. Uh -huh. That is bro. Bring. Who knows bring? Bro. Bring the traer. Bro. Exactly. That is traer. Build. Norberto, what is the past of build? Like construir something. Okay. You are in mute. Sure. Yes. The building. Mm. Por ahí, por ahí, very close, but not yet. <laughs> okay. Building is el edificio, pero construir, the word construir. Mm. ¿Alguien le ayuda? Does anybody want to help? No solo una letra. We change only one letter. Bill. 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 Exactly. Escuché por ahí una T. Yes, very good. Understand. Let me see. Let me ask another person. Um, Carlos, understand. What is the past? Understood. Perfect. Moses, buy. What is the past of buy? Mm -hmm. Creo que se ha levantado Moses. Eh, René, Bye. are you around? Eh, Alex? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. What about buy? What is the Both. pass of buy? Both. Both. Perfect. Catch, guys. What is the pass of catch? De atrapar a Cough. 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 Perfect, perfect, perfect. Eh, what about go? If I want to say fui a un lugar... When? 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 Exactly. Come? Came. 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 Yes. Come came. Very good. Do? Did. 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 Draw? De dibujar? Draw? Draw. Drew. Drew. Yeah. Drew. 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 Exactly. Draw. Drew. Drink. Drunk. 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 Drunk, con una, drunk. Okay, drink, drunk. drunk. Yeah, drive. Drove. Drove, exactly. Eat. Hate. Hate. We got it. Fall. De caerse. When you say me caí, I. Fail. Fail. Excellent. Make. 
made. 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 Exactly. Feel the sentir. I feel happy today. Feel. Felt. Felt. Exactly. Forget. Like when you say, oh, se me olvido. I. Forget. Forgot, yes. And the last one that we have is fine. The pass of fine? Found. Excellent. Yes, everybody. Very good. Very good job. Okay, so uh, vamos, a, vamos a practicarlos. You know, we're going to practice this a lot, a lot more. The next activity we have is the following. Allow me one second here. Um, just a sec. There we go. So it says, read the, vamos a hacer un poquito de lectura comprensiva. The exercise says, read the description of the chocolate products below and complete the chart with the product. Um, hay un par de cosas que no lo tenemos en la descripción, así que lo vamos a inventar. So we have a spicy peanut toffee, total can, candies, chocolate covered caramel, and chocolate, uh, chocolate dipped nuggets. Below, we have a little chart. First, we have the name, we have the code, pero no tienen código, entonces ustedes se lo inventan. We have the size, algunos no tienen, so you have to invent it up, you have to make it up. You have the ingredients, que es lo que lleva, right? The weight, decíamos que weight, what is the meaning of weight? Peso. El peso. peso. So, ¿cuánto pesa esta caja? Si no lo encuentran, make it up. Invéntenselo. That, that's just fine. And the price per unit. Like, ¿cuánto vale? So, that is information that you have there. What I want you to do is super easy. Todos tienen, uh, por ahí veo que algunos ya imprimieron el material. I see, I see that you have the material like printed, handy. So great. Vamos a hacer this exercise lo más rápido que podamos. The fastest we get. So lo vamos a completar el chart with the information. Um, guys, ustedes también me pueden ayudar completing this. You can help me to complete it. Remember, tienen una opción que dice eh, editar. So you can modify this. Y me pueden ayudar a escribir texto en estos cuadritos. So, I will ask you to help me, right? And uh, so, we can start with the spicy, you know, peanut toffee. Remember, el code se lo van a inventar. The size and the weight, algunas veces también, you have to uh, make it up porque no lo dice acá. So, cinco minutitos. You have five minutes to complete the table.
Hola. Hi, Brian. One more minute. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Necesito más tiempo. Talk to me, guys. Tell me. 
tell me why. ¿Están listos? ¿Is everybody ready? Do you need one minute, two more minutes? More time. More time. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. Y luego comparamos y lo hacemos juntito. I'll give you two more minutes. Remember the code es algo que vamos a inventarnos. So you are going to make up the code and also you are going to make up the weight because you don't have the weight here. No lo dice, no lo incluye. So invéntense cualquier cosa. For example, in weight, las medidas de weight pueden ser libras, pounds, um, what else, grams, right? So, y, y si no, vayan a buscar algo rapidito eh, from your kitchen y revisen cuál es la medida de, de peso que tiene. So, then that, that's okay, that's fine. Okay, guys, so let's get it started and help me please with this. Uh, let's start with the spicy peanut toffee, right? So, okay. <laughs> Creo que esa fue muy grande. Uh, oh, pero no me deja modificarla. I cannot modify it. Uh, no worries, Jocelyn, you're fine. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's take a look at the first. I know it's un poquito difícil manipularlo, so. Um, the first one that is a spiny, a spicy peanut toffee. Um, Jocelyn, let me go with you. What do you have in the code? Ahí está, here go. Ok, um, el primero, Spicy Peanut Toffee. Ayúdame con la descripción, please, for that one. Uh, the name is Spicy Peanut Toffee. Mm -hmm. And call, uh, uh, for example, S3599. Mm -hmm. 
Eight pieces. Eight pieces. Eight pieces. Okay. Eight pieces. Mm -hmm. And ingredients is uh, a uh, chili pepper, and peanuts, mm -hmm. and, and butter toffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. We and, have and weight. Weight. Mm -hmm. and weight. And for example, nice punto era tisir punto. Punto. Uh -huh. Point. About nine point five gram. Grams. Yes. Gram. Yeah. Grams. And okay. price. Price per unit is seven point fifteen. Mm -hmm. per unit. Okay, thank you very much. I like something else that is included in the spicy peanut toffee and it is this flavor, right? So the flavor is sweet, salty, spicy, and crunchy, like the whole combination. So we have sweet, salty. When you want to say salado, no es salad, remember, it's salty. So sweet, salty, spicy, pero también crunchy. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. I like it. Number two, total candy. ¿Quién me ayuda con total candy, guys? Who has it ready? Yo la primero. El mayor de entre ellos no va a la escuela. ¿Quién tiene la like, total candy ready? Norbert, can you help us with the total candy? Mm, yes. Amazing. Let's go ahead. Um. The name is a new candy banana, flower banana. It, the code is one, six, five, six, eight, nine. <laughs> yes. Um, um, six or six. De eso si no, no, no utilices. Y es, es como talla, ¿verdad? Eh, o size tamaño. es el tamaño. Ajá, o, el, o el, la talla y el tamaño. Pero si se fija, lo dice en la segunda línea. Box sizes starting with six pieces. Entonces puede ser la size box with six pieces. Y ahí estamos bien. Oh, ok. Es uh -huh. it's, it's, it's very small. Es <laughs> candy. Yeah. Uh, the ingredients uh, sure sure uh, artificial flowers the banana ox banana uh, ways uh, 15 15 grams wow okay uh, praise praise for uni is uh, Five pennies. Ah, uh, pennies. Five oh, pennies. Okay. Penny. Yeah, because uh, it says, uh huh. Sería cents. Six cents. Ah, six cents. Yeah, si son, for example, cinco centavos, you can say five cents. ¿Por qué no la palabra penny? Porque el penny se refiere a, a las moneditas de centavo. Entonces, si el precio, por ejemplo, son seis centavos, you can say five cents, six cents. Eh, penny se le llama a, a la, es el nombre de la moneda de centavo. So, to be ah, honest, okay. cuando hablamos de precio no lo utilizamos. Uh, todas las monedas tienen un nombre. So, we don't use okay. it. Cinco centavos is good. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you very five much. Cents. Five cents is okay. That's perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, creo que le, le incluyó también un poquito de banana. I heard. <laughs> so in the ingredients, yeah. you put some banana. Okay, I like it. A different recipe. Okay, very good. Chocolate covered caramel. Who wants to help me with the size? ¿Quién tiene el size del chocolate caramel, um, chocolate covered caramel? Solo el size. Six pieces. 
Pieces, perfect. Brenda, hello. Me alegra verla por aquí, Miss. Marvin, hey Marvin. Marvin López también me alegra que ya se unió con nosotros. I'm super happy to see you as well. So thank you so much for that. Okay, so yeah, the chocolate covered caramel is six pieces. Eh, what about the ingredients? Que me ayuda con los ingredients del chocolate caramel. Son poquitos. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Only the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Only the ingredients. Uh, milk, sugar, mm -hmm. cocoa, mm -hmm. and in, in water. Okay. Okay. So here we have other two, right, that we can use. So, for example, chocolate, caramel, and chocolate. That's it. So you included milk, okay, so you made it more um, personalized, more customized. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. Very good. Now let's go with the last one, chocolate dipped nougat. Um, can you tell me the size for this? ¿Cuál incluyeron como size del chocolate dipped nugget? If you check todos, le puesto como six pieces, right? Six pieces six pieces, like that's the generic one. So we can also include here six pieces. Uh, the ingredients, can you help me with ingredients please for the chocolate dipped nougat? What are the ingredients there? Uh, Richard, is that por acá? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, oh. Uh, you're having dinner. <laughs> yes, um, honey, almonds, vanilla, and red chocolate. Amazing, thank you, and enjoy your meal. I'm sorry to interrupt thank you. you. Thank you, <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, guys, very good. So, vamos a dejar esta parte just for a little bit, y vamos a hablar un poquito de comida. I know that whenever we are talking about candies, peanut, spicy things, Siempre nos da un poquito de hambre, right? So, I have the following so we can talk a little bit about this. Vamos a intentar, you know, to have a little conversation about some of the questions right here. For example, number one says, what is your favorite snack? Guys, tienen una, una galleta, una snack favorita, or a churrito, churrito. or any sort of a specific snack or a sandwich, or a fruit. What's your favorite snack? Number two, I like number two. What unhealthy, unhealthy food do you love? Question one, what is the meaning of unhealthy? Guys, what is unhealthy? Hamburger. Hamburgers, they are unhealthy. So unhealthy is todo lo que no sea bueno. <laughs> okay, for your health, right? So hamburgers, ¿qué más? Pupusas, what else Can comes to your mind? Pizza. 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 Nachos. Nachos. Maruchan. Oh my God. Kentucky. Kentucky? Okay. Ice cream. Churros. Uy, churros. Jalapenos. You know? Chocolate. Candy. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I want uh, churrito. Okay. <laughs> Number three says, what food or chip. or chips exactly you know i like this crazy combination of jalapeno eh, hot sauce and lemon so like together and it's like oh you know i really like it and okay. yes i really like it um no, but it's super unhealthy <laughs> okay number three says what food did your mother always tell you not to eat um, or to eat, right? For example, cuando estábamos pequeñitos, when we were like very young, um, o oh, en su casa, si ya son parents, ¿qué comida le dicen a sus babies que coman? What food do you tell them to eat? Or what food you tell them not to eat? For example, my mom told me to eat vegetables and flor de sote, but I don't like it. Well, no, yeah, antes I didn't like it. Now I like it. <laughs> 
So what about you? What is food they told you not to eat or to eat? Um, the other one says, what kind of food did you eat when you were a child? So when, when you were like six, seven, eight years old, ¿qué comían? What did you eat? What did you drink? For example, I remember I drank the, I bought the, the, the gloopy. Do you remember this gloopy thing? The gloopy yes. drink? Yes. I drank in the parina. Yes, it's a... So I remember them, I bought them, and I made like crazy shapes in Caparina, Barbin said. Yes, yes. Renee and me uh, uh -huh. drank in Caparina, my mom. Gave uh, you, she gave you in yes. Caparina. My yes. mom gave me Bacaulinita <laughs> because I didn't like to eat. So that was Bacaulinita, okay, in Caparina, interesting. I ate also a lot of mora soup, like the mora thing, you know, so I drank, I had a lot of mora yes. soup, chipping mora soup. Mora I soup. I cook for my, my son. You cook for the... Sandra? Sandrita? I couldn't listen to that, sorry. Sopa de tomate. Ah, tomato soup. So, oh, I have never heard about that. I want to listen to the recipe. <laughs> uh, that I sounds, like it. Really? I have never eaten a tomato soup, so I would like to taste it to know, you know. And the last one says, what is the best, best food you eat when you are sick? When you have fever, when you have a, like a headache. I told you, for example, oh, I, tengo un dolor de cabeza fuerte. I have a terrible headache. So what is the best food you eat when you are sick? What do you recommend me to eat? In Cap I don't have in Caparina, so <laughs> maybe you can recommend us something different, right? No, so, so, so Maggie. Maggie said, no, Papa, but, Maggie. but it's too late. <laughs> it is too late, but maybe you can oh. give us something else. Yes? I, I don't know. What say pichon? Uh, what is a pichon first? <laughs> what is the meaning of pichon? Yeah, it's a... It, uh, like a baby? So, so, like a baby... Uh, a, a, little, a, a little soap pichon. <laughs> Okay. No, like a soup of a pichon. I don't know. What. First, no sé qué es un pichon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Pajarito. I am here. Like a, but, pero cualquiera, like, I kill it, I eat it, no, or, or no, like no. chicken. No, it's a dove, the dove. A dove. Yeah. Ooh, I have never eaten pichon. Have you ever eaten pichon, guys? It's like a consomme de garrobo. Oh, I have eaten garrobo, but I don't like it. I mean, <laughs> I don't hate it, I don't like it. Do you like garrobo, guys? Origuana? Do you like this Salvadorian lizard? No? no? Yes? Or for example, una, uh, una sopa de patas. Sopa de... Uh, a beef soup. At, 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 at mo, at... Guys, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Just remember soup, right? When this comidita, soup. El soap is like soup. when you take a shower. Yes. <laughs> so soup. remember soup. Yes, soup. soup. Maggie, soup. Eh, Maruchan, soup. <laughs> es una u. Yeah, that's a soup. Otherwise, el soap is like um, sopa de. No, I mean, a soap. It's like extra soap, hagamos la, like, para ejemplificarlo, no sé los nombres, just extra soap, dove soap, uh, any other? Con, con el que lavamos? Palmolive. Ah, palmolive, palmolive soap, uh -huh. those are the ones that I can remember, only chulón, <laughs> chulón uh, soap, okay. <laughs> The coach, that was the one. <laughs> but, pero creo que no existe, right? I think oh, it doesn't exist yes, anymore. Yes. Really? Can you find it? Yes, yes. What, what do you yeah. use it for? ¿Para qué se usa uh, ahora? Uh, sound urban. Um, 
what do you yes. use that one for? Yes, Ignacio? In even, mm -hmm. even uh, bolus soap. Soup. Soup. Yeah. <laughs> Bolito <Yeah>. soup. <laughs> Okay, yeah, como la levanta muertos, right? Okay, so you're going to sell it. Include, so, include el chorizo. But you're, you will give me the no, recipe no, in a couple of minutes. Hold on, hold yeah. on. So, vamos a ir en grupos because I want you to practice, guys. No los he escuchado today. I know that it's Friday. I know that ya estamos como, ah, I want to sleep. But hagamos el esfuerzo. Nos faltan 30 minutitos. Let's take advantage. 15 minutos, we go there. Y luego vamos one on one, un minuto cada uno. So, I will send you to the groups. We go for 10 minutes only. And this is a lot. Tenemos mucho que hablar acá. Así que let's go. Keep it English, no Spanish. Si hay algo que no lo sepan, escríbanlo y luego lo revisamos. For example, I ate jocote. Hojas de jocote. No sé cómo decir hojas, solo escribo. I'm going to write it down. Y luego lo busco, right? So, guys. Vámonos. Let's go. Let's go to the groups, please. Let's join them. Okay. Renee is waiting for you. Marvin is waiting for you. So let's go, guys. Go, go, go. Brenda. Hi, hi everybody. No, eh, Brenda solo la va a escuchar, so it's okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Como que estaba Marvin ahí también. Estoy aquí de nuevo. Ah, okay. Teacher, tenemos que hablar de lo que dicen esas preguntas, ¿verdad? Sorry. 
tenemos que contestar esas preguntas y decirlo. Sí, yes, yes, we have to answer them. And, and they are very interesting, so I want to listen to your opinion. For example, number one says, what is your favorite snack? Guys, do you have your a favorite snack? In my case, I don't want to say, I don't want to give like publicity, advertisement or anything, but my favorite cookie is one that is called sponge. Okay. okay. I really, I can eat a lot of those cookies. So I tell my sister, please don't bring cookies <laughs> because I get crazy. <laughs> what is your favorite snack? Maybe cookie, maybe a churrito, nachos, chips. I don't know. What is your favorite, Sandra? My favorite snack is nachos. Oh, from the gas station? Yeah. Ooh, with On some the chili? cinema. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. From the cinema? I prefer from the gas station. Yeah. Interesting. Which is better, um, Cinepolis or, or what is the other? Yeah. Yes? Guadalupe? My favorite snack is a uh, uh, Cristiana. What is Los it? Oh, Los Casitos from Diana. Really? Okay, okay. So, casitos. What about the rest of you guys? Oh, Marvin, what's your favorite? Maybe he's not there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What about the other one? Because number number one is a snack. Maybe healthy, maybe unhealthy. What about two? What unhealthy food do you love? Like pizza, hamburger, chips, pupusas, oh my God, burritos, <laughs> and all those delicious, but unhealthy kind of food. What is your favorite? My favorite healthy food is uh, pupusas. Pupusas. Do you have a favorite pupusaria? Um. No, in, in my my neighborhood, mm -hmm. it's a lot of pupusas. A lot of... Oh, so you can find pupuserias everywhere, mm -hmm. por todos lados, everywhere. Yeah. Ah, okay. Can you make pupusas? Yes. Ah, okay. Some... Okay. A little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> surviving level no okay okay sandra what about you what is your favorite unhealthy in my, food in my case teacher unhealthy food is um eat comida china chinese chinese uh -huh. with rollitos como se dicen rollitos like the rolls oh. Rolls de, de jamón. ¿Cómo se dice jamón? Ham. So ham, ham. rolls. Chinese food yes, and baby. ham rolls. Oh, okay. Is ham it, rolls. I have yes. a question because I don't know too much. Maybe you can help me. Because I understand Chinese food has a lot of vegetable. Uh, but, oh, yes. But is it unhealthy? Is the food unhealthy? Um, not really. Is the food fatty? Fatty in the chat? Fatty is como grasosa. Um, is the food fatty? Not really. No, right? In my, I, not para mí, no. Yeah, because I think, well, for me, Chinese food is healthy. <laughs> Is the opposite. Yes. Es saludable. So not really unhealthy. Uh, 
so but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. No, no aplica. No, no aplicaría. Um, it, it depends. Como se la vea. If for you that is unhealthy, of course, of course. So uh, un, unhealthy yeah. es como lo opuesto de saludable. Uh, un, uh, unhealthy healthy uh, and unhealthy. Exactly. Healthy uh, okay. is like fruit, vegetable, uh -huh, etc. Yeah. And cuando le pone la palabra un es lo opuesto. Unhealthy. No ah, saludable. Okay. Uh -huh. no My, okay. Yeah, no, no worries, no worries. My favorite and healthy food is choris. <laughs> I really <laughs> like choris. Oh, yes. It's delicious. Yeah, especially and for lunch. Delicious. Yeah, but but the original one, the one that original. is called el chori <laughs> with yes, the original. yellow uniform. Yes. I really like yes. it. And I think it's delicious. Oh, yes. Excellent. Yeah. They are Hay unos que son como copy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. No, but no. with the uniform? Yellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, but I, I look because I know the 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 location <laughs> when I went to Chori I know where they are so and it's very interesting because they are always but always busy there are like 10 people waiting for choris <laughs> so they are really yes. good they are very very good really? okay so pupusas for you choris for me so Sandra unhealthy what is your favorite and healthy food? Tortas, chips, snacks, mm. pizza. Ooh, mm. <laughs> hamburger, no, really. pizza, no? No. <laughs> no. You don't like pizza or hamburgers? What is it that you don't like? Um, I prefer pizza. Oh, okay. You prefer pizza? Yes, I prefer pizza. Than hamburgers? Yes. Oh, interesting. I prefer hamburgers mm. than pizza. Okay, okay, nice. What about the others? We have here like a lot to talk about. Picture. So, yes, Guadalupe, tell me. I like I like the, the salad, um, the Wendy's. But ah, I like okay. to put the chili, chili or chili. But, ooh, the chili. So salad yes. with chili. <laughs> very unhealthy. <laughs> it is, that's a very interesting combination. <laughs> because the yeah. salad, it's only vegetable. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you For put combination. chili. Oh, uh, then you put chili. It's like, what? It's <laughs> okay. Oh. But... Okay. I have never eaten a salad from Wendy, but that sounds like something I, I want to try. <laughs> because for <laughs> Wendy's, I like the hamburgers. I prefer um... I prefer Wendy than a McDonald's or than Burger King. So Wendy for me is the best. But, yeah, okay. but I didn't know that they have salads <laughs> with chili. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, but chili is good. I mean, like nachos with chili. Ooh, they are super yeah. delicious. They are good. Yeah. You said from the, from the, um, from the cinema, right? From the movie theater. Yeah. But which movie theater is good? I mean, because they don't have the same. There are two, right? Two different type of movie theaters. Like I know Cinepolis and the other. My, um, my goodness, I don't Cinemark. know. Cinemark, exactly. Which is better, like from Cinepolis or from Cinemark? For me, Cinemark. Okay, Cinemark. Yes, I, yeah, I don't think Cinemark. so. I prefer popcorns when I go to, to the movie theater. So, but that sounds interesting. Or from a gas station. They are really good. <laughs> okay. With mantequilla. With butter. 
with, with uh, caramel. Ooh, I prefer with caramel. So then mantequi than butter. So caramel yeah. is like, ooh, <laughs> yes. But 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 you know, I haven't gone to a movie theater in a long time. <laughs> Girls, it was super <laughs> nice talking to you. It was really good. So let's continue with three more questions you have there. So let's wait a moment. I'll okay. see you in just a bit. Very okay. nice. At all or when is a como diarrea? Soup, 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 do you have like a, a, a sort of a specific, um, I don't know, food that you drink or you that you have? For me, Maggie soap teacher. Okay, it's so very... Maggie wine. For, for <laughs> what? Good. For what illness? Or for what symptom? Um... Ahí sí no le entendí. Oh, yeah. Like, cuando, cuando tiene el qué tipo de enfermedad. When you have what, il, what illness. Uh, Or Mabel, eh. I think she said for everything. Wow. <laughs> oh, really? So, Maggie Soup is the miracle. <laughs> es yes, la milagrosa. So, yes. it's the miracle one. Okay. For example, when I have a toothache, or when they remove a tooth, um, oh, I have no. Maggie's tooth. Oh, yes. No. Oh, Argentina, no. como uh, What is it? El Latina. Oh, Jello. Mm -hmm. Jello. Se la voy a escribir. I'm going to write it down. Yes, Jello. Exactly. So, Jello is really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. When they remove a tooth, when you have diarrhea, <laughs> yes. okay. Um, let's when, when I have a flu, teacher, mm -hmm. um, I I eat the um at all. Ooh. My son. <laughs> oh yeah, they are really good. I think they work. Yes. They work a lot because um, because this part is. is it's like a little warm so uh -huh. it, it warms you yeah or or mm -hmm. you know something that i do when i have for example like a stomach ache or when i don't want to eat much i make a uh, milk and rice <laughs> together okay. so i do that you know so uh, or a maggi soup or a mora soup i prefer mora soup mora soup yeah. Is, is very good. Uh, what what is it? Amora soup is is very is best food for me. Yeah, I really like mora. I don't like chipilín. <laughs> I don't like the the. La sopa magi siempre debe llevar una hoja, si no no es nutritiva, hojas y verduras ya sea mora, espinac, or, uh -huh. yeah, or, or, or yeah, I prefer to have like, yeah, mora, espinac, I don't like chipilín at all, 
but in the motor let me see what do i put in the maggi soup <laughs> chicken sometimes i put like pieces of chicken yes i don't know what else <laughs> yes yeah no but that is a good thing <laughs> that is really really good okay okay what about uh girls what about your snacks because i think that is the last question what ah. about your favorite snack what's your favorite one uh, I have a question. <laughs> How do you say del granado, el elote, del granado, corn, eh, qué? Como raspado. Como raspado? Ajá, uh -huh. como cuando tiene braces. In <laughs> uh, Mexico, eh, eh, it's esquite. Acá, del granado. Creo que es el, el elote raspado. I don't know if that is what you mean. Let me see. Corn. I don't know if it's grounded corn. Give me one second. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> no. Uh, let, let me check it out. Y si no lo encuentro, I will tell you later because, oh. Um, it says here that it's ground, like ground corn, la palabra que veíamos ayer, ground, de más pequeñito, mm, pero, pero eso es como muy pequeño, esto es casi una masa, casi el polvo, but I, I think what you mean is when you buy an elote loco and you cannot eat it that big, they have a knife and they made it pieces, right? Mm -hmm. So, no sería desgranado. Let me check it out. Se lo investigo, because to be honest with you, no sé si es una palabra que existe. <laughs> I don't know if that is a word that we can use. Is no recurring? Yeah, I have, to, I have to check it out. Lo sirven en vasito con... Tiene una preparación ahí especial y al final le agregan queso, mayonesa, casi que los mismos ingredientes, pero chilitos, más chilitos. Elote crazy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, ok. Que... I have the word for you. Granado. Yeah, it's called grated. It's grated corn. Como, como, como cuando lo hacen con, con esta maquinita. Um, grated corn. So supposedly, I guess that is a sort of grated corn. My sister likes that. Yeah, it's grated corn. My sister likes it because she has braces. But I don't know, guys. Yo sí prefiero meterle diente. <laughs> I prefer you not to bite it, to eat it that way. I think it's better. So, but, but it's just fine. But yeah, it's called grated, grated corn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is your favorite, Mabel. Tell me, and Jocelyn, what about yours? What is your favorite snack? My favorite snack is nachos. Ooh, nachos, okay. With chili. Yes. It's or with dips. And dips and chili. Oh. Okay, <laughs> both. <laughs> Okay, so chilling dips, okay? Yes, Lynn, what about you? Uh, yes, it's um, tortichit. Oh. chocolate is snack. Mm, oh, no. I don't know, maybe, like the chocolate bar. Yes, I would say yeah, uh -huh. it could be a snack. Okay, torti chips are super good. <laughs> I like yes. it. I like the lemon flavor. Yes. Lo que ya no sale. Uh, I don't remember. Es eh, cebolla. Aritos. Eran rojitas. De... Ajá, aritos de cebolla. Oh, okay. Oh, I prefer just tortilla chips. <laughs> I'm not too much into onions or, or garlic. But, but I remember, recuerda que el sabor si era the flavor was very nice mm -hmm. so i remember mm -hmm. that now you know my favorite um, uh, snack but not healthy snack is choris mm -hmm. but from the original chori wow they are super good <laughs> super yeah. bad yes. super
super yeah. fatty. Yeah, really, really fatty, but they are good. <laughs> they are very <laughs> nice. Llevan de todo, teacher. Yeah, I like it. Pero del original, from the original El Chori. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that they are yeah. like the best ever when i try when i um go like to san salvador or to a place where i can find choris i'm like i want a chori i want a chori so yeah they are very good guys girls it was very nice talking to you thanks a lot for sharing your answers with me i'm super happy delighted to listen to you and let's go back right let's go back to the main session I'll see you in a minute. Hello guys, so thanks a lot for coming back, right? I'm super, super happy to listen to you. And, and I have a lot of fun, you know, for me it was super fun to listen to your answers, to heard um, about your favorite food, about your childhood. So that was very, very nice. Um, we have just some minutes to share, so um, hay un par de voces que no he escuchado toda la noche, so <laughs> that would be really nice if we escucharles, you know, at least once, right? Um, so, from people, que, los que no han participado todavía, the ones who haven't participated, o no mucho, not that much, okay, who wants to tell us about the favorite the favorite snack marvin yo sé que usted quiere so thank you marvin lopez hey. <laughs> thank you so much oh vi el micrófono de marvin come and go <laughs> marvin can you hear yes, me? There you go, there you go. Okay, Marvin, tell us about your favorite snack, your favorite food, um, healthy, unhealthy, and why? Uh, my, my favorite snack and uh, churrito, uh, a little chili mon, uh, tortita nacho, okay. which, which lemon. Oh, so you put lemon, okay. <laughs> Okay, and is that, okay, that is the snack. What about unhealthy food? What is your favorite unhealthy food? <laughs> Something that, that is very fatty, greasy, but super delicious. Torta Mexican. <laughs> oh, okay. What do you put? What do you put on it? What ingredients do you include? Um, yeah. Do you like yeah. it with chicken, with meat, um, with ham, or with some cheese on it? What do you prefer? Uh, um, beef, beef. Uh huh, beef. Uh, favorite beef. Okay, you prefer the one with beef. Okay, so Mexican tortas. Thank you very much, okay. Marvin. That was nice. Okay, guys, what about anybody else who would like to participate? Who wants to tell us about the food that you ate when you were kids? The ones your parents told you to eat or the best food when you are sick? Who wants to participate here? My my favorite snack uh, is uh, nachos with soda. Nachos with soda. 
because oh. I remember when I when I was a child, uh -huh. all as afternoon I both uh, nachos okay. and I drink soda. Oh, I I always uh, I always le, eh, to, 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 I always uh, le pedía. Ask. Ask, ask but my grandfather. Okay. Give me a money. If my, if my grand my grandfather say me they give me uh, always give me ten dollar ten dollar ten. Ten colones. Ten colones. Yes. Wow. En ahí, en ahí. And I go to the, the to the store. Oh my God! But ten colones was a lot of money. <laughs> ten yeah, colones yeah, was yes, a lot is. because a tortilla. Yes. I rem I um, I don't remember very well, but I remember that a tortilla a tortillita nacho when I was young was like cinco centavos de colón. <laughs> no, I I bought the big the big nachos. Oh, like the family <laughs> pack. <laughs> yeah, three. Tre <laughs> Three, three colones. I remember. Oh, there was three yes. colones. Did you share the nachos with Marvin or only for you? Only for me. Only no, for me. Kidding. Yes. Wow. Hey, Marvin. That was Rene. <laughs> no, no, when the, uh, Marvin said your favorite snack, Y de churrito. <laughs> oh, Marvin. Marvin. You, 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 hear, you hear yourself well gringo when they say churrito. <laughs> but, but actually, we, we call it like churritos or something like that. Brian, I'm sorry, yeah, could yeah. I listen to you before? There, Rene, how much, how much did the Coca Cola cost? Like in Colones. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I don't remember. I but... don't remember. Like a cologne? No, right? Less. Mm -hmm. um, I don't no, I don't, I don't remember. Marvin, sí, porque ya llegó a los 40 y algo. Marvin. 45. No, no, no guys, no lo exhiban. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it here. <laughs> Classes are recorded. <laughs> No, but that was a good time because if you had like one colon, you could buy like 20, like 20 churritos, you know, 20 different things. So that was, I remember colon was like, you have a lot of money if you have a colon. So that was a good thing. Uh, all right, guys, unfortunately, our time is gone. I really like this. I thank you so much for your participation. It was really nice listening to you. I heard like a lot of opinions here. That was great. Lástima que el tiempo no nos alcanza. But, but let, let's go ahead. Uh, guys, before we leave, uh, just please help me out with your camera for a little bit. Um, voy a pasar la última asistencia. So let me go ahead and, and go over the last attendance. Let me stop presenting here. Mm, solo un breve reminder, un pequeño recordatorio. Tenemos hasta ahora para completar la plataforma, right? Station number one. Gracias Solo a quienes ya uno, lo ¿verdad? presentaron. Por el momento sí, pero si puede adelantar, go ahead, no problem. Gracias, Clary, por ayudarme a completarla. Eh, Pedrina también ya avanzó bastante, so she's like way ahead. Um, tu, 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 let me remember. I don't remember who that's. Brian, ya terminamos, right? Yes. Okay, Brian is done. Mabel, are we done? Oh. Yes, amazing. Yes. Uh, Carlos, sure. creo que todavía Don't estamos teacher. pendientes. I think that we are still pending on that. Okay, I'm going to check. Gracias, sure, Sandra. Número cinco era. Eh, ahora, sí, de la sesión 1 a la 5, todo lo que aparece en la sesión 1. Para la siguiente semana, si ya tenemos el midterm, entonces se larga un poquitito más. Pero no es que esté muy complicado o anything. Um, guys, me regalan confirmación, por favor. Give me confirmation for your attendance. Anita. Present, teacher. Gracias. Eh, Brenda, yo sé que está trabajando. Brian. Present. Thank you. Carlos. Present. Thank you. Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Eh, Ignacio. Present. Thank you. Norberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Bonilla. Marvin just Present teacher. 
Thank you. Mr. Lopez. Present teacher. Gracias. Clary también ya está ahí. Eh, Moses. Creo que vi a Moses hace unos minutitos. Ah, ok, Moses tuvo que salir. Eh, Pedrina, creo que Pedrina tenía problemas de internet. Ok. Let me see. Eh, René. Gracias. Richard. Thank you. Sandra. Present teacher. Thank you. And Sonia. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. So, les agradezco enormemente por estar acá today, por unirse a la sesión. That was super productive, super fun. Los veo el día lunes. I'll be seeing you on Monday. Disfruten de su fin de semana and have a good one. Sleep well, guys. Bye-bye. See you, see you. Thank you. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Enjoy it. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. See you guys.
Hola, eh, hola Karencito, estaba leyendo tu cosita, tu pregunta. Um, no, lo que pasa es lo siguiente, cuando... Hola Karencito, no, no es un... Ay, ¿cómo? Espérame que me estaba levantando de la cama o me estaba durmiendo. 